treat myself to a little festive haircut and a little, uh, a little beard shave. What do you guys think? You don't care? Yeah, understandable. Extra Derby today. Let's get into it. So welcome back into the Killy Boys here on Live AM Sports. Since we last met, where we lost to Celtic and then beat Motherwell, we have played two more Premiership games and have not won either of them. We ended up drawing with Hearts 0-0, and it was a very, very boring draw, and then losing to Hamilton 2-1 in a game that we really should have won. So after me being very confident after our unbeaten start to the season, in the most recent few games, it's kind of fallen apart. So hopefully, today against St Mirren in the Betfred Cup quarter final, and then in the Ayrshire Derby against Ayr, we should hopefully recover. Let's get into this first game. We'll show you the team. One thing I should mention is we have a new player at the club in on loan. Tyler Morton here from Liverpool. He's only just arrived. Well, a couple of games ago, I'm not quite sure. But he arrived recently. He's been sacking them in the reserves, but uh, but he's, he's coming onto the bench for the d- game today. Just as a bit of depth for you. Covering the across the whole midfield area, he looks fairly decent mentally. He's all right physically. Could do with some improvement in technicals. I'm sure that'll come. Um, we're not paying a lot of his wages. Uh, we've told Liverpool he's going to be a regular starter. He isn't at the moment, but you never know what might happen. He's on the bench today, so he might actually end up getting his debut. Never know. So the team we have today is O'Hara and Gold, Bezier and Finlay at the back, Matthews and Potts at fullback in midfield. Castrop and White. Castrop's unhappy. I promised him I would bring in someone to help him settle in, and and I didn't. So uh, he's just going to have to deal with it. I'm sure he'll end up... He'll get happy at some point, I'm sure. Uh, Mackenzie and uh, De Dio on the wings. Richards and Brophy up front. Our bench looks like Lyle, Gordon, O'Hara, Tishbola. at boy, Tyler Morton. I was talking about Hines and Stewart. Uh, Dougie Green is currently injured, which is not ideal. He's out for about two months with his injury, but hopefully he'll return and uh, we'll get back on the bench for us. Let's get into this game. Hopefully we can bounce back today after a poor run of form we've been on recently. Matthews with a corner kick, swings it in, and McKenzie scores an early goal. That's a good start for us. 1-0. You see the ball comes in from Matthews here. It's headed back across goal between Brophy and the defender, looks like, and then McKenzie slots in. You can't actually see because of the... The way that the, the, the name was covering up the goal, but we definitely did score. Well, it's been a fairly boring first half so far. Really not any highlights to speak of, but we've got one here. Richards through on goal. Can he finish? He's just wide of the goal. A goal kick here for St Mirren. One of the most eventful highlights so far. I can only assume since we've only had two. But uh, Mike Pate gets the ball on the right-hand side. Uh, he gets Bass Finley, cuts it back. McPherson hits it and it's a goal. That is a poor attempt at a save. And poor defending all round. And McPherson has scored his third goal of this season. You see McPate gets the ball here on the right-hand side. Finley should really stand up strong, but lets him pass. He cuts the ball back, and McPherson shoots. And that's a poor attempt at saving a goal from Ahara. one all, And that's at half-time at one all. Very disappointing so far. I'm going to go and say, grab that one goal to win it for us. And some of them seem motivated. Some of them don't seem to care. So Mirren have changed to three in midfield, so we might have to change something too, depending how this second half goes. But Brophy has the ball here into White the deal, out wide to Matthews. He hits it, and what a goal. His first goal of the season. Remember, he scored a couple of goals last year, and I thought, he might be our top scorer. But that was another one of those fantastic efforts. See, the deal gets the ball here, puts it out to Matthews, and one touch, two, and right in the top corner. No keeper saving that. 2-1 to Kilmarnock. A highlight straight from kickoff, though. That's never good. Tate with the ball on the left-hand side for St Mirren. Finds Doyle Hayes. Naismith. Up the middle, they've got an extra man in the middle of the park, remember now. But it's intercepted by Berger. And Brophy flies to Riches. And can we overload? Here we can. Brophy through on goal. Can he finish? He cannot. Wide of the goal. High, wide, not handsome at all. And a throw in here from St Mirren. The ball comes to Kilmarnock, however, and Brophy gets the ball and plays it forward. He was miles offside, surely, Richards, and it just goes to the goalkeeper. Is this going to be a chance for St Mirren again here? They kick the ball long and it's intercepted by Finlay. McPherson gets the ball and he drives forward. It finds Erwin on the left-hand side. They overlap from Tate. McKenzie doesn't track him back. McPherson with the ball again. Doyle Hayes to make Pake. He hits it and it's a good save from O'Hara. 
70 odd minutes into the game and we are not playing particularly well in the middle of the park so I'm going to bring on Mark O'Hara on the left hand side and it says to bring on Tyler Morton here says my assistant manager uh, instead of bringing on Alan T- Aaron Tishbola and that's what I'm going to do Tyler Morton can come on for his debut and play there in a box to box midfield role uh, alongside Mark O'Hara and Samirin have got the ball here coming forwards Erwin on the ball can they play out left no they go to the right hand side Smith with it here Challenged by Potts, and that's a penalty, apparently. Looked like it, kind of went through the man. Now, here's the question. Can the St Mirren player score this penalty? Doyle Hayes against O'Hara, and it's a good penalty in the bottom corner, and that's two all. Can't be expected to win games if you give away stupid penalties like that. And Mark O'Hara on the ball here for Kilmarnock. Plays it to Potts, who plays it forwards. McCarthy heads it clear. Erahan with the ball here for St Mirren, driving forward. Good challenge from Marco O'Hara, but the ball breaks to McPherson. McPherson plays it to Tate and to Erwin here in the middle. Challenge from Matthews, could have been a penalty, but it wasn't cleared by O'Hara eventually. And time is ticking down here late in the second half. Is this going to be more drop points for Kilmarnock? It looks like it is. Why am I saying drop points? This is the cup. It's not going to be drop points. We're going to be going to extra time. Goodness me, my brain's not in the right place. <laughs> So we start extra time here and we brought on Stuart for McKenzie just at the end of the second half and I'm not sure if we're allowed fourth sub in extra time. I have a feeling we might be allowed one. We might use it later on. You're not, I'm not too sure, but we'll, we'll see what happens. The first highlight of extra time here goes the way of, it looks like possibly St Mirren. The ball played forward. That's a goal, but it's offside. Off forward side. No? Okay. Half time of extra time and it's still 2 all. We're just going to continue this game through. And there's a highlight early on in the second half. The deal finds Finlay. Can Finlay finish? No, he can't. It's challenged and it's not a penalty ball. Beja with the ball here at the back. Is this going to be the end of the highlight or is there going to be something else from it? Morton plays it forward. It's intercepted by St Mirren. And do they come away with the ball? They do. Shaughnessy on the right-hand side. The defender tries to track him back. It's swung into the box and Erwin scores a goal. Oh, goodness me. See here, just a long ball over the top. Defenders aren't in position yet after the corner we're defending or, or attacking from, I should say, and Erwin scores the goal. Change of formation for the last 15 minutes, just basically the whole of the second half extra time. We're going to go to that uh, formation where we play the diamond in midfield. Tishbola, uh, I've brought the wrong player off. Give me two minutes. That's better. Aaron Tishbola is coming on for Flavio de Dio in the midfield there as we play with three in the middle of the park. Rodel Riches can sit just behind Ross Stewart and Eamon Brophy. We'll go to attacking and we'll see what we can do for this last bit of extra time. Could it be us getting knocked out of the cup again? The ball comes to the defenders here of St Mirren. Tate with the ball into McPake. Forward to Erwin. Erwin switches it to McPherson. There's an overlap over here. Of course there is because we don't have any wingers. Smith comes forward. Can he get challenged by Potts? No, he can't. Ball comes out. McPake is over the bar. St. Mirren with the ball on the right-hand side here. Tate with it. Finds Erehan and it goes to Shaughnessy on the wing. The ball swung in and that's almost a carbon copy of the goal they just scored. Shaughnessy on the, light, on the right-hand side, our left-hand side. Swung the ball into Erwin and Erwin, not challenging the box, scores the goal. See here, Erehan to the, to the, the, the right winger there in Shaughnessy. Swings the ball in, and Erwin, against the fullback just scores a goal. Poor, poor defending. This is very, very disappointing from this Kilmarnock team. And that's his reach full time. Knocked out the Betfred Cup at the quarter final stage. Just told the boys they're not good enough because they simply weren't. And let's hope we can turn around this form against Air United. But to be honest, I'm not too sure. Air United look like they're playing quite well this season. And it could be a very frustrating Ayrshire derby for us. Right, so here we are, ready for our Ayrshire derby. The first league Ayrshire derby of this whole career so far. And certainly the first one of this season. A couple of changes have been made. Dan Potts has been absolutely horrendous for us so far. 6.46, his average rate in his last five games. So he has been dropped from the match day squad completely. And instead, Adam Matthews is moving over to left back, as you can see over there. And Mark O'Hara is going to drop in to right back for us. Uh, normally he plays in midfield, but he can play it right back. And he's going to do that for us today. Alongside Castro in the middle, we're going to play Aaron Tishbola as well. And the front four actually is going to be the same. Mackenzie, Didil, Richards and Brophy. Obviously our, our normal kind of back three, you know, O'Hara and goal and Bezer and Finlay in the middle. Um, but yeah, Dan Potts was not impressing me so far, so he's going to be coming off. Simple as that. So here we go into the Ayrshire Derby. First Ayrshire Derby in the league for quite some time. We've got a highlight here after five minutes. 
The ball comes out to Zanata here. For some reason, our defenders don't try and get that ball, and it goes to Bowie. Ball all the way back to Wardrop here and right back to Milligan. McCowan here to Milligan all the way to Wardrop on the right-hand side. The ball comes back. It's cleared by us eventually, but Crawford collects the ball here for air. The honest men with the ball. Crawford into Walsh. Zanata, is he going to hit it? No, it's intercepted. It's all the way back to Milligan. This is some good passing football, but we really should be trying to close them down. And Bow hits it and is wide of the goal. Ball here for Kilmarnock on the right-hand side. O'Hara swings it in and it's cleared by McLeod, but it comes as far as McKenzie. Ball swung in. Brophy to Dale and it's cleared eventually by Muirhead. Mashes with the throw and he's throwing it straight to the air player, but eventually we get the ball clear. It only goes as far as Crawford, though, who finds Chalmers on the left-hand side for air. Intercepted by Dispola, he drives forward, plays it to Brophy. Can Brophy score? He certainly can. Oh, he can't. It's a good save from the goal. I was about to say he certainly could, but it was a great save. Connor kick from Adam Matthews. The ball swung in. Can we score? Of course we can't. You never do from corners. But Bowie breaks away for air, which is worrying. Intercepted by Didio, and that should be end of highlight. Matthews with the throw for us here, throws it in, it's headed clear by Baird and Bowie and it goes as far as Finlay. Can we recycle the play here? Bears with the ball, through to Brophy, cleared by Muirhead. Matthews collects it, plays it out to O'Hara, who gets past Zanata into McKenzie. Can he find O'Hara? He can. Can he swing the ball in? He can indeed. And Tishbola and Richards and McKenzie and it's eventually saved by the goalkeeper. Milligan with the ball here for hours. There's been lots and lots of highlights in this game so far, but nothing really clear cut as a chance. Crawford with the ball out to Wardrop on the right-hand side. And to Wells, it's intercepted by Cashup and Brophy can break away. He gets past his man. Can he score here? He has a shot. It's saved again by the goalkeeper. This is getting very frustrating. O'Hara with the goal kick for us here. The ball played forward and it's cleared by Muirhead. Can the deal get there? No, it's McCowan instead. But Brophy does get the ball back and it goes straight to McCowan. This is hugely, hugely frustrating. We just can't seem to pass the ball to each other and keep some decent possession. Chalmers has a ball here for air on the left-hand side, swings it in. McCowan, it's off the crossbar, possibly. Certainly off the framework, and eventually Matthews clears it. That is at half-time, and I tell you what, I'm not impressed with this at all, and I'm going to tell them I'm not happy. Most of them seem motivated. Jens is unsure. Well, I'm unsure if you're going to keep playing for us, if you're going to be that unsure. Go and show us a better performance in the second half. It's hugely, hugely disappointing. Deal with the ball here for Kilmarnock. Can we make something from this? Tishbola, no, the ball's intercepted. Cash up the wins the ball back to deal with it again. Challenged by Muirhead and Richard scores a goal. I don't know how we've managed to get that ball into the back of the net, but I will take it nonetheless. 1-0, finally, a very scrappy goal. You see Tishbola gives the ball to them. It's headed by Cash up. Brophy gets it, plays it to Tishbola, to deal through. Muirhead trips Brophy. Richard sneaks in and scores the goal. To be honest, it's an absolute mess. But you know what? We'll take it, as I said, 1-0 finally. And the ball here with uh, Chalmers on the left-hand side for Ayer. Plays it forward to Zanata. Can he cut the ball in? It's kind of, Bezer kind of falls over, but the ball still with Ayer. Crawford with it here. Plays it to Milligan. Back to Crawford. The ball swung to McKinnon at the back post. Can he score? A good save from Ahara. 20 minutes to go in this game, and there are a few tired legs. Rory McKenzie being one of them, so Chrissy Burke can come on. I tell you, that's not something you'll look lay. Look, look lay? Look lay? That's not a word. You'll likely be saying in the future... Chris Burke's now 38 years old. And Adam Matthews as well is uh, very, very tired. So Ziggy Gordon can come on and play left back for us. 20 minutes to go. Can we hold on to this lead? It's a throw in for Ayer on the right-hand side. It swung into the box. Cleared by Bezier to deal with the ball. And Brophy collects it. Gordon now. Can he come forward with the ball? He can. To deal into Brophy. Can Brophy score? It's challenged. And it's a penalty kick. Muirhead challenges Brophy. And is that a red? Was he the last man? It looks like it wasn't. It was a yellow. Can Brophy score? The penalty steps up and he sends the keeper the wrong way. And that's a two-goal advantage. A little bit of comfort for us now. It's 13th goal of the season for Brophy. Is this us back on form? I'm not quite sure. We've not played particularly well, but that was a good penalty. And we're 2-0 up. The deal with the ball into Brophy and Brophy gets past his man. Cuts inside, hits it. It's a good save from a goalkeeper. Chris Burt with a corner, swings it in, and it's headed clear to Finlay. What's he going to do with it? He's going to find Gordon back to Finlay. Gordon plays it forward. Burt heads it on to Richards. Can he score? It's a good save. Lots and lots of chances. We have had 12 shots on target and only scored two goals. That's very, very worrying. Or is it very good goalkeeping? That's the question. But we've had three expected goals, according to the statistics. And Zanata tripped Brophy there, and it appears to have only been a yellow card. I thought maybe it was going to be a red, and it showed us it there. 
But the throw-in was taken by O'Hara. This may be another chance for us. Oh, possibly an air chance, though. Walsh with the ball, challenged by Tishbola. Tishbola does some more challenge, and eventually the deal clears the ball to Richards and Brophy. And Brophy drives forward with it up the middle of the park, and he scored a goal. He gets past the keeper, and a goal. Fantastic from Eamon Brophy. His second of the game. A very, very good solo effort. And that's 3-0. The deal plays the ball forward to Richards, and Brophy just gets past his man through the middle of there. That's fantastic. Gets by the keeper, just to the side of the keeper, and slots it into the side of the net. 3-0, that's more like it. Chalmers with the ball in the middle of the field here for air. It's intercepted by Burke and Richards has it. And can he score his second of the game? Richards hits the ball and it's a goal. Fantastic. 11th goal of the season for Richards. Two today. Two for him and two for Brophy. 4-0. That's better. That's making me feel more happy for taking our chances now. Just taking us until this end of the second half to do it. See Richards here. Takes maybe one too many touches, but eventually scores the goal. Four now. Yeah, United got the ball here, and what a goal from Milligan. I wasn't really commentating, but that was a fantastic strike. And uh, and that's made it 4 1. A consolation goal. See the ball gets played about in the middle of the park here. Milligan takes a touch and hits it, and I don't think anyone was expecting that to go in, but it did. 4 1 to come on. And time ticks away here. And we win this game 4-1. That's a better comeback. That's a good way to end the episode. Thank goodness. Well done, I've said to them. And look at all those motivated, inspired looks from all the players. Apart from some of the guys on the bench who appear to look complacent for some reason, which I don't understand. That's better. So with that victory, there are still some games to happen on Sunday. It's just Motherwell against Hamilton, so I'm sure one of them might jump up, but not as far as me. We're in second place there with five wins from our eight games. I'm very happy with that indeed. We had a wee bit of patchy form in the middle there, but hopefully this can be us kicking on to uh, some better form again. Roderick Richards, you can see, joint top scorer with seven goals for us there and three man of the matches. Just looking at the schedule, a uh, sensible place to come back would be the Aberdeen and St. Johnson games because they're the last two games before we uh, break for the World Cup. So that'll do us for today. If you have liked the video, please do give it a thumbs up, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and I look forward to seeing you for the Aberdeen and St. Johnson games in the next episode. See you then.